this background is fake i repeat this background is fake in today's video i'm going to be teaching you how to fake your youtube backgrounds for your youtube videos to enable your youtube videos meet up standards so if you're in that level of persons that you don't want to show the background where you are or you don't want people to notice the background where you're filming your video from then this video is actually for you and if you're also that person that is actually looking for how to make your youtube quality videos then this video is for you but first hello beautiful people welcome back again to my youtube channel it's very sonia and i'm back again with another video on your table how are you guys doing hope you guys are fine hope you guys are good if this is the first time tuning in do a subscribe like this video drop me your comment and lastly do not forget to share we'll have some ai tools that you are going to be using and of which one of it is leonardo ai the second one is canva and then the next one you'll be needing your cap cut but before we go into all of that make sure when you're filming your videos you have good lightning you have your tripod stand if you don't have a tripod stand you can do well to like set up a tripod stand so that your videos will not be shaking i don't know if you guys get what i'm saying okay so and if you don't have all the lighting that is required you can actually use natural lighting because in this video i am sitting close to my window and this video will be so good if you're filming this video let your back background just be plain just as you're seeing there is nothing much happening in my background there's no too much light coming from the outside but from the side of my window i'm having natural lighting and of which this is good for your video i repeat if you've not subscribed subscribe like comment and share and then let's dive right into this video so guys the first thing you need to do is to go to your chrome and then you type www.lonandoai.com and then you're going to get exact this particular one and the next thing is for you to sign in with your google okay once you sign in with your google and and you automatically create an account for you and after that you have to like get yourself the username that you desire then you're going to choose which particular category you're interested in i choose the stock image you can also choose a stock image accept their terms and conditions and then sign in then this is how it's going to be the next thing is for you to create a new image after creating a new image you're going to be typing in all of these depending on the kind of design that you want i'm going to be leaving this in the description box if you want some of this particular design so do well to check the description box for all of these so you can see the design that i came up with that the AI came up with due to my typing okay so if you want food or any other type you can actually type what particular ca the category that your youtube videos is really based on and then you can get a nice background for that so i forgot to tell you guys that i used um what they call it youtube thumbnail maker why i really use this is because i wanted the work to be a little bit easier and faster so if you want to use your youtube thumbnail maker as well you can use any thumbnail maker of your choice just to get that youtube shape exactly instead of going back and forth with it some persons use canva but i just did this okay so i'm not doing much here just to go to my youtube to make name maker i see if i want to create a thumbnail then i choose the youtube standard after choosing the youtube standard then i save this video so you can like watch this video repeatedly so that you know what i am talking about so after that i move straight to my canva okay and of which the canva is going to do some magic as well because i need to add some youtube icons if not because of the youtube icons i wouldn't have been needing any canva you click on your youtube thumbnail on canva or you can just type it you generate it and to give it that youtube exact shape then you go straight to your um, camera roll import that particular image the image to be precise not video okay so import a particular image that you save from your thumbnail maker or from the site you're going to see that it's going to fit in directly so you just enlarge it so that everything can actually be balanced so this is me just dragging it up and down so you can also do the same and watch this step by step then the next thing for you to do is to go back again and click on element once you click on element then you type youtube icon once you type your youtube icons you're going to be seeing a whole lot of youtube icons that you're going to use and then you click on any of the youtube icons that you prefer to use for me i'll be using this first one because it is free um if you want to get the advanced one you can also do well to like subscribe to canva to get the advanced one then i'm going to make sure i fit this in where i actually want it to stay on the shelf and this is the particular position i want it to stay i want this to be a little bit real to look so natural so i'll move straight to my effects once i move straight to my effect i'm going to be choosing shadow then i'm going to be clicking on glow okay so that it can be a little bit uh, natural and here am i then you're going to be saving your video after you save your video this is when the cap work, work starts 
So guys, the next thing is for you to open CapCut and create new projects. So once you're creating new project, the first thing you're going to be importing here on your new project is the background. Okay, you're going to be adding the background. When you're done adding the background, you need to make sure that you drag this background from beginning to how many minutes you want your video to be. If your video is five minutes, you can drag or you can even drag more than that because we're going to be doing some split and cut. After that, you're going to go and click your overlay. Once you click your overlay, you add overlay. Now you're not adding the pictures anymore you're adding the video that you've already created and you want the background to change so you allow it to load depending on your time or your minutes then you make sure that the background and the video is fitting well after that you can just split the remaining part of the background and then delete it from your cap cut you can see it very well here the way i'm doing just watch um, patiently so that you can also know what i am doing in this video so the next thing for you to do is to click on the video and scroll to remove bg so it's automatically remove background then you click on auto remove and then it's going to load and once your background is being removed this is what your video will be looking like after getting this, you need to also ensure that um, you drag so that the background and everything is going to fit in well. Then you need to make sure you adjust your video very well so that you can be at the middle, you know, since it's a sit down video, except if you're creating another kind of video. Then the, ne the next thing you're going to do is to click on effect and click on video effect. And once you click on video effect, you're going to be using this first one that i just click here so that your body effect and everything about the video is going to sit in so well so you can choose and then you're going to type blur here why you're typing blur is because you want the background to be a bit blur so that everything is going to look so natural even not 100 percent natural but you can actually make this 100 percent natural okay so you're going to make sure you adjust to the particular one you want the blur parts to fit in exactly how i'm doing here so once you're adjusting the next thing advise you to do is to be replaying the video over and over for you to be sure of what you are doing so after adding the video effect the next thing for you to go and click is to click on your filter so once you click on your filter you are going to add any particular kind of filter that you want trust me you can add more than one filter just to make sure that everything is natural but right now i'm just going to use the glow filter and also the humble filter okay so these are the two filters that i used in this video do ensure to like adjust here and there for you to be sure that everything you're getting is perfect so this is what you are supposed to do it is really not difficult all you need to do is to check more of this video side by side so that you can also get the idea and if you've not subscribed at this point of this video i don't know what you're waiting for please do want to subscribe like this video drop me your comment and lastly do not forget to share the next thing is to export and then save your video so after knowing all of these and how to change your background i hope you can actually subscribe now if you've not subscribed please do have to hit on that subscribe button are you a small youtuber looking forward to make money on youtube are you that person that is looking forward to give up on your youtube please don't youtube is a good business and you can start up with this my tutorial that i've already teach you so subscribe like comment and share and yeah with no further ado i do i do like all the same my videos i'm going to be simba and i'll see you guys in my next one so for now bye guys